Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very special guest with us today. This is Mike with Circle 7 Armory. Um, found Mike on Instagram years ago and uh, been watching his stuff for a long time and then I don't know where I realized you had a YouTube channel. Uh, it's small, but just starting. Small, but highly entertaining. Today's video specifically is about something I saw on your channel and I saw on your Instagram and I thought if I could ever get my hands on it, <laughs> I would love to film it. I think you guys would enjoy it. Uh, Though it may look like a Draco that you're used to on this channel, Crutch Folder, AKM Furniture, Short Barrel, Draco Gas Block, this is actually a PSL that he cut down years ago and uh, modified. And instead of me butchering everything he's done to it, I want to mic, mic up Mike and let him talk about it so you guys can hear straight from the expert. I uh, just started out as a receiver I ended up with and uh, didn't have a parts kit to build, so I... Um looked into you know, what it was gonna to take to, to build one, and I decided to go right off the bat with an RPK Romanian trunnion, because I like the military markings better than the PSLs are just bare sided. And um, so that was where it started. I didn't butcher up a kit. Um, it's a US barrel, cut down, and um, still retained the uh, RPK windage you know, sight leaf, and um, well, I guess it's what, a PM90 short barrel? It's one of the Virgin kits. I just stole the gas tube, the piston, and the front sight block from that, and uh, kind of went from there. Um, I wanted to make sure that the bayonet still worked, and so if I can get this with my left hand here, it does lock on, and um, that's the lug is from a PSL, and so is the flash hider, but if you can tell, it only has two ports instead of four, and so it's shortened to make it literally as short as I could get the gun, and um, so. It does still you know, keep an optic rail, um, which I have put a scope on it before I forgot to bring today. But, um, but yeah, there it is, guys. And uh, you know, as Carnicon says, that sweet stock action. This is your favorite gun? I think so. Okay. It's least favorite to shoot, but it's my favorite one I own. <laughs> it definitely is rough on the shoulder, but- it's very uh, cool to look at. I like it a lot. Everybody qu uh, always asks about this one, so. For a dude that uh, does not handle recoil very well, what should one expect to shoot a short barrel 762 by 54 r mm, They're gonna get PTSD. Woo! Oh my God. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it's got the biggest muzzle flash of any gun I've ever shot. Um, a couple stills on my video that you can see the flame comes all the way back and almost like kisses your hand. Fuck, the shells fucking hit me. This is a bad spot to stand in. And the trench yard on the grip. I oh yeah, freaking love. show that. Big Bersini. Yeah, we'll get a close-up of that for sure. Big Bersini, I wonder what that means. Not what sure. It, I wonder if it means like, like big booty in hmm. Romanian or something. I have to look that up. We're gonna corrode it up a little bit more, you know, with surplus ammo, but all right, man, she eats it. it all. Let's do it. Sick. If you put them side by side, which is going to be hard to do. I think that's uh, grip to grip. PSL's half an inch longer. Not much. Granddaddy Draco. Dude. All right, camera, try to survive. Woo! Oh my God. <laughs> you know, the recoil's not that bad. It's not terrible. I think it sounds a lot worse than it is. Oh. Oh, man. What the hell is that? A real gun. It's a pumpkin spice latte turned into a Draco. I like it. I want dibs if you ever sell this. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh, damn, that's hot. And you, and you got an RPK rear leaf, right? Do PSLs come with those? Uh, not an adjustable, no. That's uh, RPK. Like Romy RPK? Yep. Got it. The PSL, I think, actually goes to 1,200 meters. But this is an RPK block, not a, a PSL block as well. And there's that custom muzzle device. The bayonet lug. PM90 gas block, basically a Draco. It's just a big AK. Basically it is. Huge bolt face AK. Since the Romanians oh, pissed off the Russians, uh, they didn't get the SVD, so they made their own. I love it. Don't ever clean it. Let it keep <laughs> rusting. Well, we have some more ammo. Let's go get it. Oh my god, dude. You know, it's not bad when you're directly behind it, but when I was watching you shoot it, it was pretty brutal. Oh, that never gets old. Not that bad. Not that bad at all. Fireball. <laughs> I want to own it. This is freaking awesome. I like this better than my PSL. <laughs> <laughs> and what part of Texas are you out of? Uh, just northeast of Dallas. Northeast of Dallas. Place. Okay, so we get a lot of questions on this channel. Uh, a lot of guys are getting into AKs for the first time, or just a lot of com block guns, mm -hmm. and they realize, oh, you can have gunsmithing done. The biggest question I get is, I live in, name a town, doesn't matter, is there a gunsmith near me? People will always say, hey, I live in Texas, I live in Dallas, San Antonio, whatever. A lot of people are so scared to mail their guns to gunsmiths, I don't, I don't get it. I'm not sure why. People would rather like drop it time. off. So here's another option north of Dallas. Yep, we do allow local drop-offs. So I've had people as far as Houston come all the way up and drop them off. And they can certainly ship it to you with an FFL transfer. Yes. Yep. All right. I really want to thank Mike Ganaway with Circle 7 Armory for coming down to let us film this thing. He didn't have to, but he did. And he brought a lot of other really cool toys that we've also filmed. You're going to see those in later videos. This was a really cool gun. We started calling it the uh, 54R Draco. Pretty sweet gun. And like we said earlier, guys, if you're looking for some gunsmithing and you're in Texas, Mike at Circle 7 does really great work and he is open for business. Feel free to go follow him on Instagram. I'm also going to link the video that Mike made on this gun down below on his personal YouTube channel. Go check it out, and while you're there, feel free to give him a subscribe. He's got a lot of really cool, interesting stuff he's working on. It's all documented really well on his channel. All right, guys, that's it. We'll see you next time. Ah! Oh, stroke, stroke. Oh, no. Not. You broke the extractor off. Ah! Oh, oh, damn! Ah!